okay. And occasionally I have to come out and do these because um, remember, every, every time a celebrity passed, someone said they seen them burning in hell. Okay, remember they did that with DMX. Okay, they did that with um the dude from Black Panther. They do this all the time. All the time, somebody said they seen some man in a red jumpsuit, Billy Goat Horns, the huge dinner fork, and um, <clears throat> the flames, and somebody being burnt up, and demons dragging them, and spitting on them, and doing grotesque things to them, eating them. They did, they being reborn, just all type of craziness, madness, and, 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 and paganism, right? Bugged out, okay? Let's get into it. So, okay, I had to come out and debunk these, all right? This is 2 Peter 1, verse 16. For we have not followed cunningly devised fables. We made known unto you the power and coming of our Lord Yahawashah, but were eyewitnesses of his majesty. Okay? And if, if anyone who listens to this that may be new, his name is Yahawashah. His name is not Jesus Christ. Okay? Those are Greek names. Okay? You guys need to start leveling up, okay? Let's keep going. <clears throat> All right, Second Peter 1, verse 17. For he received from Yahweh, the Father, and the, the Lord's name is Yahweh. From Yahweh, the Father, honor and glory. When there came such a voice to him from the excellent glory, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. All right. So yeah, let's go get into it. Barak the hell, Barak the hell, Shah. Barak the hell, Barak the hell, Shah. Barak the hell, Barak the hell, Shah. Call hello, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. I'd like to give a shout out and salute to the brothers across the four corners of the earth trying to preach this truth to see the elect. Hopefully, you and me is one of them. Okay. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS. Those are the men sent during this time to wake us up. Okay? So, yeah, we're going to go and let this play, and you can hear it for yourself. Okay? I believe this is uh, Mac Praise, and this lady, uh, this is her page, uh, Mrs. C. And, and you know, a lot of times, like Christians do, if you play that video, they'll copyright strike you, right? Even though the scriptures say, um, you know, um, freely received. Freely give, okay? So, yeah, let's keep going. This is Matthew 10, verse 8. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely you have received, freely give. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and let this play, right? And then we're going to filter it through the scriptures. Because, like I said, they'll pop out of the blue. And, and they'll say they'll say things like that. Like I'm gonna let you hear what he said, and then we we gonna run it through the scriptures, okay? Because they say that we it say that you know the Negroes, Latinos, and Natives say that we will have a zeal of the Most High, but no understanding, right? Let's keep going. And, and Christians, they just don't have it. And let's talk about this uh, Kevin mm -hmm. fella. God did give me a little open vision. And I found out how he passed. I wanna I'm talking I'm talking about this to a good friend. Uh to be honest, I feel a sadness. He died having sex. Uh, a certain accusation or whatever you may hear about him. It's the kind of stuff he was in when he was dealing with women. Uh and, and yeah, I, I did a video on that. You know, they said that um, you know, he he died like right on top of her, allegedly. You know, you had these sick women. You know, talking about that that she should have um took a picture of him. What about her feelings? Nobody say nothing about her feelings, right? Let's keep going. Prostitutes, all kind of stuff or whatever. I'm going to tell you something. Before he died, two days before he died, matter of fact, I saw, cause I, 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 ain't never, I used to see some of the stuff, you know, like little clips, TikTok, whatever. Man, man was just, 
I don't know what kind of fella that was. He was like, he was probably angry because he got divorced a couple times, so he wanted to beat down women and degrade them and all that kind of stuff. And, and just and, and trying to manipulate it in a way, saying like, hey, if y'all women, y'all women want, uh, y'all looking for this type, type of man, what's wrong with a man on this type of woman? See, the thing about with that is we are men. Men are made to handle. I ain't saying now women can't handle stuff, but our body structure and frame, we just built to do different jobs. It's just certain things, you know, you're going to have to handle as a man. He wanted, he wanted a robot. He wanted perfection. And he can't get it. And how he died, he died having sex. And I asked the Lord, I didn't know her, Lord. And when I heard, I felt sad because I knew. People may say, oh, every time you talk about somebody, somebody went to hell. But you know what? If I got on here and say I seen Paul, the apostle, y'all don't want to hear that. But that's why God be showing, showing certain things because y'all love to hear about hell and stuff. Y'all love to hear. Oh, and another thing you said about uh, Paul and Moses, there, there's um, ancient photos of how they look. Okay, we know that they're people of color. Okay, and then you said um, he wanted a robot. Well, the woman was made for the man. Okay, let's go and get it. Okay, this is 1 Corinthians 11, verse 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Yahawashah, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Yahawashah is Yahweh. Okay? Now, we're we, we going to keep going, but I'm, I'm going to take it down. Okay, this is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 8. For the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. For this cause ought the woman to have power on her head because of the angels. You see that? Okay, now let's get back to what he was saying. About what happened, folks. Think about it. If I went on here and said, I know some of y'all be wanting to hear, I follow look, but I bet you it'll get away. It ain't about views, and God know it ain't about views when it comes to me, but he knows that it's certain things he can show people and that y'all will grasp on to a little longer, a little more. Because if I sit and tell you I saw Moses, yeah, you probably like, yeah, I'm Moses. Look. But if I sit here and told you, man, I went in Satan's kitchen, Y'all be having them all packed out. But that's why God be showing so He wants you to know hell is real. Hell is real. And people do go there. And when you end up. Okay, now, the word hell means show the grave. Okay, let's get it. All right, this is our, the uh, Encyclopedia Britannica. And this is the part dealing with Judaism, okay? Even though we Judites, you know, and, and Judaism is, is just is similar to Christianity, okay? Except they saying that they practice in Judaism. It has nothing to do with our um, book, okay? All right, somewhere or other, probably in Sheol, the land of gloom and deep darkness, Joel 10, verse 21. And Sheol, the good and the wicked, shared a common fate, okay? That's just like with uh, Samuel and Saul, okay? When Samuel told Saul that he would join him there, okay, that that Saul killed killed a lot of King David's men, okay. So you mean to tell me that Saul didn't go to um this place where y'all talking about burning and uh, people chained up? Cause it don't exist. We gonna keep going. Much as they had in the Babylonian underworld. See, all this come from the uh, Babylonian um beliefs and everything the place did not conjure up images of an afterlife for nothing happened there okay <clears throat> hades is used for shoal denoting the dark region of the dead tartarus originally denoted an abyss far below hades and a place of punishment in the lower world later lost its distinctness and became almost a synonym for Hades, yeah, because when you guys talk about hell, you talking about Hades. That's made up, okay? It's not real, okay? <clears throat> now, let's, now uh, this is um, 
held the equivalent of the Hebrew terms Sheol and Gehenna. The term hell is used also for the Greek Hades and Tartars, which have markedly different connotations. As this confusion of terms suggests, the idea of hell has a complex history, reflecting changing attitudes towards death. Okay? Yeah, because you, you, you guys... You guys believe that this is a place where you you chained up, you know, it's a, a red a red devil with some goat horns with some G-strings on poking you, okay, and cooking you. That's what this picture is showing. Let's see if we can blow it up. Yeah, flying, uh, flying men with wings and fish heads, okay, half naked. See, and, and, and as you notice, you see all white people on this, okay? All made up, cunningly devised fables, right? Now watch this. Let's see what the scriptures say. Not, not what the, what, not what fables say. Let's see what the scriptures say. This is Ecclesiastes twelve verse seven. Then shall the dust return to the earth, as it was, and the spirit shall return unto Yahweh, who gave it. You see that? All right, this is for Samuel 28, verse 16. Then Samuel said, Wherefore then thou ask of me, seeing the Lord has departed from thee and has become thine enemy. Now Saul has become the most high enemy, okay? Now, I don't know about a lot of you other jakes, but I don't know a lot of jakes that killed as many people as Saul killed, okay? I mean, and he was killing, he was killing his own people, Okay? Remember, he was fighting King David, and the Lord said that uh, Saul is his enemy, right? Now, watch this. We're going to skip skip uh, a few verses. Okay, this is Samuel 28, verse 19. Moreover, the Lord will also deliver Israel with thee into the hand of the Philistines. And tomorrow shall thou and thy sons be with me. The Lord also shall deliver the host of Israel into the hands of the Philistines. Now, Saul killed all these people, and he was going to be put to he, the Lord was going to allow him to be put to death and return back with Samuel. So, I would that mean two things, because uh, Saul killed a lot of people. I would that mean that either you, as an Israelite, and you're not going to hell, being stabbed with a man with a pitchfork, or that means that is a fable and somewhere you guys didn't study because I've never seen nowhere in the Bible where it says it's a man with goat horns and he gonna have a trident pitchfork which go back to uh, Poseidon and Hades and all that madness you know Greek Babylonian um, just all different type of fables okay and these people gods okay which are not yours you Negroes, Latinos, and Natives, you the sons of Yasharala, okay? No man going to be kicking you. He going to have goat hooves poking you and, and, and cooking you in a pot, okay? It, it, it just doesn't exist. You went through your hell. You went through slavery, destruction. Two-thirds, they get ready to go through that lake of fire, which is World War Three, with them nukes. But my thing is, if, if Saul killed all these people, why didn't he in hell? Because he killed a lot of his own people, Okay? Why is he with Samuel? Just something to think about, okay? These people will be lying to you. Let's keep going. <clears throat> Told you Christians, they just ain't got it. Come on now. There ain't no way out. But uh, I seen before I even find out he died, uh, having sex. But when the bathroom, I was about to make a video. I watched the movie. I said, I'm going to make a video. Talk about it. I'm going to ask the Lord, what happened to me? What a man then? I saw the man, like, I, like sometimes God can just show me something. Um, when I'm not sleeping, sometimes, not often, because like most of the time I go to sleep. But I saw he had some holes in there. Come on, come on with me. Hold up, y'all. Hold up. So, but I saw he had some chains around his wrist. And he was being pulled. He was being pulled in this tunnel. Hmm. And he was looking like, where I'm at? What's going on? And man, lo and behold, and I heard, I heard screaming, and I heard him say, "I'm sorry, Lord. I'm sorry, Lord. I'm sorry, Lord." And 
I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna tell you something. You cannot live this life however you want. And people say, how you know it went to hell? And let me tell you something, dog. Let me tell you something. I ain't even know he died ever said, but let me tell you something. When uh, the Bible says the wicked do not know when they die, he didn't, the same way he was living, he probably thought he was going to get old and stuff. The same way he was living, before he died, there was the same, the same way he was, his mindset was before he died, this how it was when he died. It was no different. He did not know he was about to die. He was having sex with a prostitute. He did not know he was going to die. So, this is the thing about us Christians. We, he was a good man. It, 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 it don't matter. His teachings are just like the teaching of Buddha or whatnot. They probably taught certain things good, but their life did not glorify God. You may talk, you may talk about cleanliness. You may talk about, and I ain't trying to judge nobody and all that kind of stuff, but the Bible said righteous man judge all things. I'm going to tell you how it is. I don't care if you like them or not. And then how you talk about, you know, uh, uh, women and stuff like that. And 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 I ain't just talking about you just talking to, to, he was, in a way, he was breaking down breaking women down, making them seem so insignificant and stuff like that. And God didn't play with that, man. Man had a heart attack, died, and had sex with a prostitute. And everything that he did, he thinking about it right now. Every word he said, he thinking about it right now. And, and there ain't no way out. Can't repent. Can't turn back. Can't do none of that. Mm. Did not know he was, he didn't know he about to die. He, 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 what he had in his mind, he about to have sex, do his thing, get up. And and that's the danger of being without Jesus. Oh, and another thing, you keep using the word, the uh, name Jesus, okay, that, that was given to you, okay? We came on a slave ship called Jesus, okay? But you guys don't talk about that, okay? You, you, you totally don't deal with that subject, okay? The letter J, um came around in the um, 16th century, right? I believe it was 1524, or whatever it was, it was in the uh, 1500s, okay? Which would have been the 16th century, right? You you guys don't deal with that. You you don't deal with the fact that he's a he's a Hebrew from the tribe of Yahawadah, which you guys uh, called Judah, but it was no J, right? Let's deal with something else. <laughs> Okay, you you said that, that he was burning in hell and and all this other stuff. Okay, well, let's see what the Most High got to say about that. Okay, because it, uh, a lot of Christians they believe it that um, Satan had uh, escaped with a third of the angels and he turned against the Most High and and um, all this other madness. Okay, well, well let's see what the Most High had to say about that. Okay, this is the Second Chronicles 18, verse 19. And the Lord said, Who shall entice Ahab, king of Israel, okay, that he may go up and fall at Ramoth Gilead? And one spake, saying after this manner, and another saying after that manner. Then there came out a spirit. So you had spirits standing amongst the Most High, okay, and stood before the Lord and said, I will entice him. And the Lord said, Unto him wherewith. So now the Most High is questioning this spirit. Okay. Now remember. He, he's the father of spirits. He created all things. He's sitting here having a conversation with spirits. Standing right in front of him. Okay. Let's keep going. <clears throat> See you got to contemplate on these scriptures. So these scriptures you have to really think about what they're saying. And realize that. You are the, you are the children of. Israel, you, you Negroes, Latinos, and Natives, you the real Jake. So when you hit, read these scriptures, you need to really think on them. Okay, then listen to what, what's going on. And he said, I will go out and be a lion spirit. So you mean to tell me a spirit standing right in front of the Most High that's telling him he's going to go lie to the King of Israel. Okay, yeah, that's what's going on. Because the Most High control all things, right? And Satan didn't run and flee and go... Go hide up under some brushes like he running from the police and nothing like that and took a third of um the spirits with him. No, that's not that, that that's not even in the scriptures. 
okay? That's that's them, them, them Christian fables, okay? And this man got a lot of fables on his page. I'm going to show you. And, and be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. You see that? And the Lord said, thou shalt entice him, and thou shalt also prevail. Go out and do even so. Now, the Lord said he will prevail, okay? Once the Most High put it in motion that he could not escape, the enticement of the spirit, that was it. Because the Most High control all things, the evil and the good, okay? Now, let's get into it. This is Job 12, verse 16. With him is strength and wisdom. The deceived and the deceiver are heads. You see that? Now, I just showed you. He was having a conversation with spirits, the Lord, okay? And told him that he will prevail, okay? And, and what happened to uh, King Ahab? He eventually, he lost that battle and was put to death. You see that? Judgment, Okay. Kevin Samuels was judged. He not burning in hell. He's not in a, a, a damn crock pot somewhere. Ninja foodie, never stick crock pot. All that madness. You guys need to come up out of that uh, Christian madness, okay? Let's keep going. Not Christian madness, but Christianity, okay? Because Paul and them was the first ones called Christians uh, in Antioch, okay? What else they was called in Antioch? They was called niggas, all right? Let's keep going. <clears throat> Okay, this is Deuteronomy 32, verse 30 now. Now, see now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive, and I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Okay? So, yeah, the DEA, he controls all this. Okay? Let's keep going. This is Isaiah 45, verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and I create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. You see that? Nothing. Hey, the most high control all things. There's, hey, there's no there's no Satan running around without per permission from the most high. Yahweh, Bashan, Yahweh, Shah, plain and simple, okay? So, yeah, I just wanted to get this out to the family. You heard it. You know, these jakes out here, even though we live in the last seconds, they still teaching that um the hell doctrine, okay? Which is actually the lake of fire that's gonna be created by them nukes. They got they they out here teaching that, that Kevin Samuels and all these other people being dragged down into hell and being and being tormented by demons and all, all this madness, man. That's 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 cunning fables, okay? See, I just wanted to get this out to the family. I'm gonna go and shut it down. Um, I'm going to leave a link in the description box if anybody else want to do a, a report on it, okay? You uh, you Negroes, Latinos, and Natives, man, y'all better wake up. We in the last seconds, okay? You better you, you better realize that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is a power that is, that is unmatched and unmeasured, okay? Satan works for him, okay? So, yeah, that was one of Satan angels. He was having a conversation with that said he would be a lying spirit, okay? So, yeah, hopefully he was edified. I'll see you again real soon. Shalom.